<laughs> My name is Laura Quinn. I'm a member of Local 20944 cool. in Vancouver, British Columbia. At the Social Justice Fund supported for young members, um, sponsored them to go to Guatemala. And the project itself was to go to Guatemala to um, learn about some of the social justice issues, as well as to support uh, a community in Kishaya, which is the Guatemalan Highlands. So we worked on um, a project the community was doing, um, building a school for the, um, for the community, as well as a medical center. We also worked on two other sites that were also building schools as well, um, and then participated in learning sessions um, with community members learning about some of the um, sustainable projects they were teaching to the community members. So uh, we had a presentation from Dr. Yuri Milani and he had spoke about the risks and the threats and the violence that um, as uh, activists he encounters in his day-to-day -day role. He had a bodyguard that um, he's with 24-7 and this is very common for those people who speak out for their communities and for the people of Guatemala. And so in the one presentation he stated as Canadians we have a voice and we can speak for these people who don't have that voice. And that was very powerful. Um, and I realized that international solidarity is possible. And through that, um, with recognizing that they're global issues. So um, when I was hearing about um, people in the community fighting for their rights within the work environment, that's still something that is happening here with fair wages, as well as uh, environmental pieces of mining going into communities and not consulting with the community and not consulting with those people who may live there. It's a similarity that I'm seeing within Canada as well. And so when I was there through education, awareness, and talking about um, these issues, it brings us together internationally, whether it's um, on a different scale within Guatemala. Um, these issues are happening in Canada as well. Um, another thing that I noticed was we attended a vigil in Guatemala City and it was for 40,000 um, missing persons from the Civil War. And that's something that um, is happening in Canada as well with recognizing the missing um, women and Indigenous people. And so with that, when we stand together for violence against women or environmental um, issues, we're standing together globally. So on a personal level, um, I took away um, how you don't need a lot um, in order to, um, to live. And so when we were in the community in Kishaya, um, I just remember the amount of life and people working together and, and developing um, projects. And so with that, the um, kids would take each other, would take care of the Kids would take care of each other. Um, families would get together. Uh, people were singing in the community. Roosters were crowing. There was a real sense of life. And I noticed how they didn't have as much as we have in Canada, but um, the relationships that they had were important and family was important. Um, so within Guatemala, um, they place the importance of um, educating the youth and um, teaching the youth about not only the history but also the best way to move forward and I think that's an important thing for us to do within Canada not only with our history um, but also um, ensuring that we educate and the youth move forward as our future.